Hello traders, welcome to our YouTube channel. In today's video, I will show you on how to import any custom indicator to Material R4 and MetaTrader 5. The reason I'm watching this video is because you have either bought an indicator or you have downloaded it online and now you want to know how to import it to MetaTrader. If that's the case, then watch this video because I will show you everything step by step. For the purpose of this video, I've downloaded two custom indicators, one for MetaTrader 4 and one for MetaTrader 5. This is because some people use MetaTrader 4 and some use MetaTrader 5, so I wanted to accommodate everyone. Before we begin, it's important to note that any indicator created for MetaTrader 4 will only function on MetaTrader 4, not on MetaTrader 5. Similarly, an indicator made for MetaTrader 5 will only work on MetaTrader 5, not on MetaTrader 4. But if you stick with me on this video, I will show you on how you can determine if your indicator is for which MetaTrader platform so that you can import it to the correct MetaTrader. Okay, then let's dive in. Okay, as I have mentioned before, I have two indicators, one for MetaTrader 4 and one for MetaTrader 5. We will start with the one for MetaTrader 4. Okay, first of all, if your indicator is still in the zip folder, you need to extract it. To do that, you can just right click on it, then click on extract all, then click on extract. It will be then extracted. I've already unzipped my folder, so let me open it to find the indicator. This is the indicator and it is on AX4 file. If yours is written MQL4, don't worry, it's still the same thing. This means that it's still for MetaTrader 4. As you can see, there's a 4 then. For MetaTrader 4. So to import this indicator to MetaTrader 4, right click on it, then click on copy to copy it. Then go to MetaTrader. In your MetaTrader, click on file in the top left corner and then click on open data folder. Here click on MQL4, then click on indicator because this is an indicator. Then you'll find a list of all the indicators available in your MetaTrader. So let's paste this indicator and copy it here. To do that, right click on the side and click paste. Then your indicator will be then pasted here as you can see, here it is. Um, One more thing traders, I would really appreciate if you could like and subscribe. It will only take 2 seconds of your time but then to me, it will mean a lot and motivate me to make more videos like this one. If you have already liked, thank you so much. Ok then you can close this tab. In your MetaTrader, there is a navigator window which shows all your indicators. If it's not visible in your MetaTrader, click on view in the top bar, then click on navigator. It will be then available. Okay, now you need to refresh your MetaTrader so that the indicator will be visible. To do that, right click on your way here and click refresh. Your indicator will be then visible as you can see. Here it is. If yours is still not available, just close your MetaTrader and open it again. It should be fine. So now to use this indicator, you just need to drag and drop it on the chart. And just tick all of these boxes and then click on OK. Then your indicator will appear on your MetaTrader. If it doesn't show up, just right click on the chart and then click refresh. It should be then fine. Okay, now let's import or install the one for MetaTrader 5. The process is still the same traders. This is an MQL5 source file. This means it's for MetaTrader 5 use. And if yours is written in X5, it's still fine. Just follow this video. Copy the indicator. Then open your MetaTrader 5. On MetaTrader, click on file in the top left corner and then click on open data folder. Here click on MQL5, then find the folder that says indicator, then click on it. Place the indicator here and then close this tab when you are done. Just close the meter trader and open it again. Okay, then go back to your MetaTrader 5 and under the navigator window, right click anywhere, then click on refresh so that you can see the indicator you just imported. Okay, now here is our indicator. So let's attach it to our chart. To do that, drag and drop it on the chart. 
then we are done as you can see our indicator is installed please don't forget to like the video if it helped you in any way i would really appreciate that other than that thank you so much for watching the video see you on the next one